Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome back to Altcoin Buzz Trading. Uh, Marco's doing okay. We did definitely have a choppy weekend, but we're kind of right back at it. And I'm actually happy today. One of our uh, top hot coins I wanted to tell you about anyways today, and that's Tron. So stay tuned for that. All right. So BTC had a kind of a choppy weekend here. Sideways dropped. Not in too bad of a way, but we did take a little bit of a downturn. And now we're, we're trying to curl back up. Uh, let's see if we can do that. We are just above this range here, so hopefully we can try to bounce back. But essentially, we're just in some chop right now. Uh, there's really nothing super amazing going on here. Good consolidation, though. I have to say this is constructive. If we start to break, uh, I have a trend line here. We start to break that, then we can start to try to move up. Uh, if you're a dip buyer, we did kind of come back down towards this pivot point here. And that could have been an area to maybe purchase, but we're already a little bit extended up from that. But that could be a decent stop at this point if you wanted to. Um, I, I really hope this line holds, but you know, hope in trading isn't is basically a four-letter word. It's not a good thing. You don't want to hope, but that could be a stop, and and you hope it doesn't get triggered. So Bitcoin not doing too bad, n doing nothing wrong at this point really. Um, we're kind of just waiting for for a move up of some of some type. So. Let's hope that comes relatively soon. All right, next up is Solana, um, which has been a little bit more random here lately. We did curl up a little bit on the weekend, pulling back here overnight. And let's see if we can get up off of this. On the daily, we're kind of back down towards some lower levels that have been supported. So support here would be really good because it's definitely a higher low off of the trend line. That could be something in a move. As this, this uh, triangle is getting more mature you know, we've been up to the top three times, the bottom a number of times, and uh, hopefully we can start to move up out of this in a couple of weeks, months, maybe. That would be ideal. All right, onto our hot coins, and this is the one I wanted to tell you about is Tron. Um, I'm a technical trader. I know something about fundamentals on these, but we did a little bit of a deep dive into Tron on the weekend. Not not a crazy deep dive, but um, Tron has been an interesting token lately. It has really kind of been a counter market token like the market goes down this goes up market goes up this goes down it's 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 spreads have also narrowed significantly um what i mean by that is that like a big day on tron look like three four five percent where other tokens would be 15 you know 10 15 percent so the spreads have narrowed dramatically uh some good action though here even just recently i like these are called like little frozen ropes it breaks this rope and then it goes into a downtrend, breaks the downtrend rope, goes into an uptrend, rinsing and repeating. And what we're ending up with right now is actually extending volume with extending price bars as we're getting towards a alert level for a very large cup and handle type of a pattern. Technically, it's too deep to be a cup and handle. Oh, my good goodness, it's not 27. I don't know why I thought it was, but um, wow. OK, this is a bona fide cup and handle then bona fide cup and handle. And let's see uh, if it's going to break out. I got 14, 14. If this is good of a network as what I'm hearing it is, and its network usage is increasing, uh, if it wants to get up towards Solana, it's got a 7x in front of it. So we'll see what happens. It could have a good future regardless, but this is very stable price action um, and a token that's more moving towards highs than it is towards lows. And that is a big deal. So uh, keep an eye out for this one. And uh, I'm not sure if we'll see it a lot because only reason we're seeing it is because it's not a volatile day today. It's just not. And so this happens to be the top leading coin over the past 24 hours, oddly enough. So good stuff there. And next up is XMR, um, which this has just been stuck in chop for a very long time. Um, really ever since, ever since uh, when, did the, when did the war break out? 2023? Yeah, 2023. Right about here, I think. I don't remember exactly where, but it's been stuck in chop. I don't think this is going anywhere, um, but it is one of the top 50 coins percentage-wise in the past 24 hours. So that was the criteria that we use here to pick our hot coins. And this one I don't think will be will be going very far as it really hasn't. Bigger picture-wise, if you want to call this a cup and handle, you'd be wrong because uh, a cup and handle needs a prior uptrend. This doesn't have one, so it's not a cup and handle. This would just be some type of a flag. And uh, I just don't have a lot of confidence in this getting up. Monero is a very old coin. Not that that's a good thing. Actually, Tron's an old coin too. But uh, this is what I call a transfer token. It's just meant to send coins back and forth. It doesn't do anything necessarily. It just sits there and waits to be used. So there's there's not a lot of uh, need to accumulate this name. And you see it in the chart. So 
it is what it is. This, this is not an asset you can make money with if you're a growth trader, breakout trader, technical trader at all. All right, guys, that's all I got for you in the best five minutes of your day. Hope you guys have a good Monday, and I'll see you tomorrow on All Coin Buzz Training.